SQL Server Management Studio has been upgraded to support all of the new features found in SQL Server 2019 and the new server compatibility level of 150. The update also brings some new enhancements to the user interface and squashes a number of bugs and sources of application instability. So let's touch on some of the highlights for SSMS version 18.0. First, Management Studio is a lot smaller than it used to be. The current size of the download file is about 500 megabytes, which is about half the size of the prior SSMS 17 version. Next, when I go ahead and run the setup file, you'll notice a new feature here. We can now install SQL Server Management Studio in a folder of our choosing. Before, we were locked in to installing it in the same location on every computer. The default location is still going to be on your C drive in the Program Files x86 folder in a folder called Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 18. However, you can go ahead and change this to any other folder that you'd like. Other than that change, the installation is still pretty simple. You simply press on the Install button and let it do its thing. When it's done, we can go ahead and close out of the installer. Now I should point out that even though you can add a custom installation location, you can still only have one instance of SQL Server Management Studio installed per computer, so you still won't be able to run multiple copies at once. Now if you're upgrading Management Studio from a prior version on the same computer, the first time you start Management Studio 18 after upgrading, you're going to be prompted to migrate the user settings from the prior version. The user settings files are now stored as plain XML text files, which makes them more portable and allows for external editing. If your workstation includes multiple monitors, then you'll be glad to hear that there's improved support for multi-monitor systems, and effort was put in to make sure that dialogues and windows pop up on the expected monitor. And to make sure that the interface looks as good as possible, high DPI support is now enabled by default. I'm going to connect to my SQL Server 2019 instance here, and then we can take a look at a couple of depreciated features. On the list of items that were removed from SQL Server Management Studio are a couple of little used features, First is the T-SQL debugger, and you'll notice that the entire debug menu is no longer present up here in the menu. And also removed is the option to view a visual representation of your tables and relationships with database diagrams. Previously, you would find those on user databases right here at the very top of the list. Now the first folder underneath our user databases is the tables folder instead of database diagrams. So in addition to these higher profile changes, there are a number of improvements that have been made to accessibility and integration with Azure Data Studio. All of these combine to make version 18 of Management Studio the best it's ever been.